All right, now we're going to go into attaching the, the new gun scabbard uh, to the Nomad pack. Uh, the gun scabbard, I didn't mention it a few minutes ago in the video, it does come with a uh, piece of webbing with a male-female buckle on each end. I've already hooked up the females to the pack. This is to hold it in place if needed on the upper portion, but I'll go right into that in a sec. So, we've got the Nomad. You basically have three bar sliders. Attach these in the upper portion of the pack. You can actually go in the high carry or the low carry position with these pieces of webbing. It doesn't really matter. I disconnect these. If you want to carry it above the lower part of the pack though, it's easier if you put it in the high mount position. Those are locked in place. Right now I've got it to where the rifle is just above the top of the pack. I can obviously loosen this webbing up quite a bit. Looking at it upside down. I can go lower than I would ever carry it. Or I can adjust this where if I wanted to ride a bike or a horse and the butt would not hit the bike, the horse or whatever, and fold the bat wings over it, I'm going to loosen this to the position I use, probably carrying it up a trail, which is like half mount. Somewhere in that neighborhood there. You got two options. We got multiple options. If you want to run this, you can actually Buckle it in, go all the way around the scabbard. Back into itself. I didn't have that fastened all the way in. So that locks it in the center of the pack so it can't shift back and forth. If I wanted to, these two vertical straps that are on the pack, if I didn't want to run this or I did and I wanted to double secure it, you can X these like I showed you before. Uh, really hold it in place like that. Then, just like anything else, Take the wings, fold them over themselves, over the scabbard. And you got a rifle carrying system that is infinitely adjustable in height with the pockets you need for tripod, spotter, day hunt gear and no issue whatsoever whether you're in triple canopy rainforest or you're riding in on a dirt bike a couple flicks of a lever and you are good to go this thing will be amazing for especially long-range rifle hunters and, uh, and tactical guys as well